hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we will look into uh, a particular tool called chatsonic so chatsonic is more like chat gpt and uh, one of the importance or like the feature addition to chat gpt is that it has it can actually invoke data from google and from latest news basically so that is one of the prime feature which chatsonic team has uh, kind of build in this in this particular product compared to chat gpt and uh, maybe the results which 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 we are getting will be very diff different actually like you can definitely try it out by asking some questions but today i'm going to ask some questions which is really confined to a particular domain and let's try and understand whether it is kind of working through for these kind of examples and another important thing which i will be looking into this video is uh, we'll see how we can invoke this api so that you can actually build your own application and how you can uh, kind of load it in your custom tools and uh, tech basically so we will see how we can invoke the api as well in the code using python scripting So let's get started and feed in some of the questions. So like I already have some questions which I have prepared. And uh, so the first question is, so another important feature is that like, like we can uh, give voice command as well in chat GPT, which is good. And uh, this is purely a commercial tool. And uh, there is a quota like 25 daily generations so uh, use it very carefully when you are uh, working with chat sonic like if you are going with the free version but they also have the pricing options available so you can definitely try out their uh, pricing uh, or the premium features after purchasing your api so uh, so in the qu first question i just i'll just copy paste the first question here so it's about a company called uh, rain metal and uh, let's see whether it, it it is having board of leadership commitment to the importance of strong business ethics and integrity and i'm just asking to give some details about it so let's try and see whether it gives me any data and i've included the google data feature as well so that let's see whether it will pull some latest news about that uh, one so it's saying yes it is strongly committed and uh, they have strict ethics and compliance rules they also require okay as a commitment okay so it's saying uh, yeah it's it's giving a proof that uh, this technology ag a subsidy of rain has a commitment to corporate governance and is dedicated to fiscal year so let's ask the same question to chat gpt so uh, yeah which is obvious because uh, yeah like in the limitations itself it's clearly said but but uh, i think it is giving some information so i can tell you that it is generally considered important for companies to have a commitment okay so it's giving a very generic detail actually so but it but even chat sonic hasn't given me enough proof for this particular question so let's let let me ask another question so give links and supporting articles for it so it has the capability to memorize the previous question and the data it got processed so let's see whether it it, it is able to kind of pull any important links for it so it it gave it gave me some link so let's try and see whether this link does make sense okay so this link is outdated but it's taking to that corresponding company page which is good i don't know how an outdated link came into like came as like came as a result actually so i don't know how it's being pulled so all the links are outdated and none of the links we can directly use it okay not sure why this link is said as outdated but it's taking you to that corresponding page okay 
so that's about so two questions are down so we are left with 23 questions and purely chat gpt will not give definitely will not give any result so now let's try to un ask some more complex question like some companies which are not very popular uh, and let's see whether chat sonic is able to kind of process so i'm just giving the question so this is a company and let's see whether uh, it is able to bring bring the code of conduct if it's there or not and if it's there let's see whether it is working or not so we are asking whether it has a code of conduct so it's saying purely that we cannot process your request okay so i've seen this in many occasions wherein chat sonic is giving like if at all questions are asked like this like it is not able to pull the data i'm not i'm not thinking chat gpt will give any data correct so it is purely yeah so it's giving some other results actually but that's fine so now uh, let's try one more company i just want to see whether uh, this company works or not so beacon mobility corp so let's see whether this gives me any data yeah, so it says uh, it gives it it has a code of conduct so uh, but in reality i don't think beacon mobility corp has a code of conduct so let's search in google whether it has a code of conduct okay so let's see whether this is the code of conduct for beacon okay so this is i don't think this is uh, this is another company actually this is not beacon mobility corp yeah so it gave the yeah beacon mobility is this i'm not sure this is another beacon i think so it gave the code of conduct for another company which is having the same name so this can happen actually many times but ideally this company doesn't have a code of conduct i believe which so chat sony gave me a wrong result here basically so let's ask one more question about this beacon mobility corp so this is this will happen actually like whenever we are exploring the data like uh, there are high chance that we will not get the correct form of information <coughs> so let's try this question whether it is bringing is it committed to having diverse and inclusive environment so one of the thing which i observed is like in every case it it tries to give a positive response that like okay if, if you are asking yeah it will it is it is so and it gives some generic information also so that's something which i have seen and uh, which we cannot really trust actually like there is a problem trusting this kind of a solution wherein uh, without giving evidence we cannot actually kind of and uh, give evidence for the above so it sometimes it pulls a link but yeah like this is what is uh, happening so company has a diversity inclusion statement on it so this is this is nice so let's see beacon mobility corp has a diversity inclusive environment so maybe if we go into this website maybe it will it will actually kind of show so this is the website and uh, yeah so what chat sonic is saying like company has a diversity and inclusion statement on its website so let's see give links for the same let's see whether it will provide any links for it which makes our job easy in this case 
so it is not able to pull so there are chances that it can generalize based on the companies other companies name and provide the data so that can happen actually in multiple places so but 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 i would say these questions are comparatively tough because these are very precise to a particular domain in which a company is functioning so it it can it can be confusing and uh, challenging at times so these questions are really tough and uh, i will not really judge based on this particular questions because it gives a uh, it's 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 very complex actually all right so now we can try and see how we can invoke this uh, chat sonic into the code so uh, this is the home page actually when we are logging in to this uh, chat sonic so uh, so chat sonic is just one feature or one tool inside this entire uh, platform so there are other tools like this wherein like lot of features functionalities are there so i would say it it works like a charm for all the generic use cases but not for maybe it's too early for like domain centric because there are high chance that it can give wrong results for those kind of questions like which we have seen little earlier so there are provisions for uh, photos generation as well so we can see like some pictures like this so portrait of an average canadian male okay so yeah i i think these are all biased output actually because how can we even categorize it like that i don't know so uh basically we have this information and uh if we so here you can see like there is a flag to up, upgrade right now i have in the i uh i don't have a paid version but it will actually i will show you how we can load uh, this particular code so if you go to the resources section there are like a lot of uh, information about uh, all these features so like all the features which are there in this particular platform are there in this one so so they are saying chat sonic is like chat gpt but with superpowers so mainly it can connect with the latest news or like it can connect with google so that's a that's the superpower which chat sonic has now let's see how we can uh, avail this uh, api and how we can generate the text in the code snippet so so first of all what you have to do is you need to write a email to the support team for uh, write sonic for getting the chat sonic api and uh, they will be actually providing you the uh, link where you can uh, get the api actually so that information is already available in the resources section and once you have this uh, api what you are, all you have to do is you need to go to the api reference uh, section wherein you will be able to see this particular document and there is a section where we can find the api so go to app.writesonic.com and uh, once you are actually there so so right now i will show you one example but i don't think i have that uh, uh, i think mine is already expired because i have in took the premium version so if you go to the api dashboard here so in the api dashboard section we will be able to kind of see the information related to our api so it is nothing but uh, we will be able to kind of uh, get reveal if we give the reveal api key we will be able to kind of get that api and once we have the api we will be able to get that uh, or we can actually attach so the code will look something like this and uh, we need to provide the url which uh, they are actually providing which is nothing but the premium url and then we can ask the question what is the question actually like which we want to just like how we had given in the prompt and then we have the payload where we are giving the input text argument as a question so it's given in a dictionary format and this payload is actually given uh, within the request so uh, and the in the header section we have the api so this is the api which we will be getting it once we uh, sign off with the premium version 
so once we have this then uh, we'll be able to run the code and get the output so right now you will not get the output because my api key is not there so we'll be getting something like this so please upgrade to your plan to the 99 per month so to use the api so i have already have the api but i haven't uh, activated it so that's what happened actually so that's about uh chat sonic and uh, i hope like you'll be able to kind of uh, try it out and uh, see how better or like how uh, different it's from chat gpt and maybe like uh, you'll be able to sort out the differences and from my analysis it's purely a good tool for generic purpose writing stuff like writing emails writing blog posts all those information but not really useful when it comes to a domain actually domain centric information query that's it and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video bye